Now, the guys I brought into the game, in, in, they were guys like Oskido. Yeah, Bob Mabena. Those are the guys I brought you into the brought game. Oskido yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. He knows as well. And he says that, yeah. Yeah. He was like under my little, because I set it, setting up a little something. Yeah. So he. You put Oskido in the game? Yeah, yeah. Put Oskido in the game. We've been we've been chasing for this big dude to bring him on and yeah. the fact that we got to Blanta we couldn't go back to you him know we've been like, here we've been here since Monday yeah you know how hard people have no idea how hard it was to get in touch with this guy <laughs> <laughs> I had, yesterday when you were like, recording and he's like ah, yes we're like there, taxi. Well, there you are oh, wow, okay. and he had no excuse like <laughs> okay 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 fine you got me let's do this <laughs> no an honor and a privilege yeah. Yeah. cool yeah. welcome everybody to podcast malawi and i'm dennis call me papa Ayla, if you want it that way and when brand uh uh recording live from stakeout on the Amaryllis, not not top top top, but yeah, on the back one of Steakhouse, chilled vibes, good times, and we have got an amazing guest. Let me try and introduce you, Tabs, and oh, see right. if I'm gonna get this right. All right, all right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, man. So to everybody who is watching, yeah. we have Tapua. Is it Tapua, Tapua or Tapua? Tapua. Yeah. Yeah. We have Tapua, Taps Bandawe. Who is a Malawian record producer? He lived in South Africa for two years before returning to Malawi. He is credited for producing the music of popular Malawian singers such as popular singers such as Lucky Dube, Brenda Fass, Josie in South Africa, that is, Two Face from Nigeria, Nameless Kenya, Kemilian Zambia, Lucius Banda, Mlaga Malilo, Theo Thompson, Physics just to mention a few his studio is called audio vision 360. audio visual 360, 360 studio. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. as a producer taps is credited for helping the artist tay green launch his hip-hop career by cutting the first malawian proudly african cd he has also produced the song all my malawi for lucius banda and has worked with artists such as masco he is currently mm -hmm. the founder of Pamuzi Soundscape. Soundscape. Yes. Yeah. 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 Mm. Welcome yeah. to the show. No, tabs. thank you, man. That is <laughs> insane. No, it's it's uh, it's been some career. A couple corrections on there. Oh yeah. A couple corrections with uh, Brenda Fassi and Lucky Dube. That was uh, 1980, 90, 90 to ninety two, right? Mm -hmm. I was in South Africa. I was in South Africa for four years, actually. Not two. Four? Not two. I was there for four. Um, uh, in South Africa, that's where I was starting off. Yeah. So, not to give myself props, but I, I was the first, if you like, hip hop artist in South Africa, the first artist to get a number one record as a hip hop artist. So this, back in those days, Nimbo Mez is easy. The urban, Gunaribe. There was like township jive. You only in comparison to Malawi, Nali, Ngadiaji Nankasa. So town ya chio music ya chio kunalibe. So if it na mafana amalau di takula ma ma break dance chan chan kume kunalibe. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Bobby yes. Brown, what do I? Yeah. So as an artist, that's that's how I started there. Now with Lucky Dube and Brenda Fassi, they were like the mega stars at that time. Yeah. But Lucky Dube's uh, manager saw me at some show one time. Okay. And um. I said, no, man, this is the vibe, man. Hey, American boy, he's called American boy. His name was Richard Siluma. We said, no, man, come to the studio. Um, you know, come meet, come meet Lucky. So that's the first time where I met Lucky. These guys were big guys. So they yeah. took me on the road. They took me on the road where we were. I was performing. You know what I mean? Uh, starting off the show. Mm. Yeah, so so basically I was like, come now. You understand? With Brenda Farsi, Chico Selo Twala, even Rebecca Malope. Now the guys I brought into the game, in, in, they were guys like Oskido, yeah, Bob Mabena. Those are the guys I brought you into the brought game. Oskido yeah, 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 into yeah. The yeah. He knows as well, and he says that, yeah, 
Yeah, he was like under my little, because I set it, setting up a little something. Yeah, so he You put a skitter in the game? Yeah, yeah, put a skitter in the game. Wow. Yeah, we brought a skitter. He was, he was like a DJ, he was like a part-time DJ at a club called Razzmatazz. Um, uh, and he always was just there, you know? He was just a couple years younger than me, if I recall. He was always just there. And um, he, he was like, there was him, there was Ishmael, Yes, I they wanted were, to mention yeah, Ishmael. Yes, there was Ishmael. When he was Ishmael, yeah, not when Ishmael. Was Ishmael. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So these were like the juniors. We were staying in Hillbrow. Hmm. So these were the guys. Hey, man, I've seen you on TV. Because I was the first guy. I was on TV. I was on what? I was on what? To have that style quality. You, you feel me? So guys like Oscar. Yeah, I introduced him to guys like you know, the guys he set up a record label with, uh, Bob Mabena, etc. Then uh, there was guys like Junior. Who went on to Boom Shaka? Those were guys we set up. Label. Those were guys we sort of like put in the game because before that, artists with an urban feel weren't getting record deals. Mm. So that's how I helped set them up. So it's not good. I was great. It was just I was I was in a good opportunity. So that was that situation there. Um, now, from there, this was pre-apartheid. This was 92, 93. Now there was a thing where a lot of opportunities were coming my way, right? I was going to do a track uh, back in there. There was the, guy, the Fresh Prince. I was pushing for, hey, can we do something with, with Bobby, Bobby Brown? Because that was my hero. Yes. Check. But there was a thing called the cultural boycott where no artist in the world, because they were squeezing the apartheid government. Yeah. Yes. No artist in the world could go and perform, could perform or, or a, a record, uh, a, a radio station play a South African song, song yeah. or perform with a South African artist, etc, etc, etc. So there was a lot of opportunities, but, you know, we missed those. Now, that's when I left South Africa, I was like, ah, man, because I did a show with Technotronics, you know, guys, pump up the jam, jam. yeah, pump it I supported them. Yeah. And then I really bonded with the, with the manager who's called John Cheatham, and they were based really in London. Hmm. That's when I went to London before. So it's it's like a hit and miss because a missed opportunity. Because after that, a year later, two years later, all these guys started pouring in. You understand what I mean? Yeah. But then in South Africa, in the UK, I had another situation. So, you know, we'll get to that as we chat. So I just wanted to clear that up. Okay. Yeah, just to clear that up in terms of, uh, uh, you know, someone say, ah, oh, we are, you know, it's not produced. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Like yeah. A dude, uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> so how did you find yourself in South Africa first? Were well, you born school. in Malawi? Yeah. Or, okay. Yeah. And what what's the history like for you to actually be in South Africa and doing music? Yeah, okay. That's a good question. I went there for school, 1986. Yeah. After I finished here, I went, uh, my father found me a school there, a place called Hilton College. Hilton College, which is in Peter Marisbeck. Um, so I went to Hilton College, um, and while I was at Hilton College in Malawi, um, like I say, we, there was during the breakdance era. In fact, we were the first group. There was a group called Renegades '85. We were the first group to win a dance competition, right? Malawi Guna, sponsored by Carlsberg at Mount Sochi. So music, zarap was <laughs> You see what I mean? So school remained in the music department. So what the music department did, ah, music, that the hell. Now, there was a school band. Now in that school band, on my day weekend, the idiot would say, on my vow, we know, because you school, you know, or you would go out and play, what, what, what. so I got involved in the band, hmm. right? Yeah, as the, so like, rapper, stroke, singer. Yeah, so that's how I got involved in music, really, through Hilton College. Then at one of those performances, it's when, I connected with um, a lady called Nareen Stevens. Nareen Stevens, who was the manager of a group called Bayete um, in Turban. Uh, and then she um, called, like I said, Richard Siluma, who was Lucas Dube's manager, yeah, like, to, hmm. the, to, to, to the show. And then that's how I got my deal with Gallo Music, uh, a subsidiary actually of Gallo Music called David Gresham Records. Hmm. Um, uh, but we were distributed by Gallo, who were like the biggest in Africa at that hmm. time. So that's, yeah, that's the, that's the musical story. And what were you studying in school? In, in school, I was studying initially 
I went there, I was studying engineering, right? Well, I went for matric first. Yeah. So matric, I graduated. Um, uh, so Hilton actually made me, uh, correct me because I missed a step. From there, from Hilton, I went to a place called, called Natal Tech in Durban. Yeah, a school called, uh, it's like a, it's like Pole, basically. Yes, yes. Yeah, like Pole. And that's where I, I started engineering first. But then there was also another music section in there. You know what I mean? And then I transferred from from uh, engineering to basically music, business of music and entertainment, a diploma in that, uh, which I graduated from as well. Okay, let me get straight. You decided to switch careers. Yes. Along no, the way. No, it wasn't switch careers. You may, uh, to be honest with you. Yes, yes, yes. You all are what you could take because the, the the choice was okay. Ndi, I'll uh, graduate. I'll go back to you know a Malawian university or something. What time am I in Kuno? Yeah. So I hatched up a scheme in my head. Yeah. Said no, no, no. What I'll do is I'll because there's no way I can tell my parents. Yeah. I'm going to study. Yeah, music. Uh, music. Yeah. 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 No, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'll be on the first plane back. You feel me? So yeah. that's when I am. Um, got in with so the game plan was okay let me do a year or two yeah, after that i'm gonna do what yeah, i want exactly not even a year six months <laughs> okay six months <laughs> not for sure. hey. but they found out after two years yeah. i <laughs> love <laughs> it <Utuja. laughs> started music production but, but things were happening by then mm. you know because i was studying at the same time i had the record deal so yes. they were they were quite proud but obviously annoyed as well so mm. yeah okay. it's part of history so you you were hanging out with this guys um the like a team you're touring yeah how did the the deal come in are they the ones who initiated the deal in south africa and for you to start doing everything else or mm. why, why, why? no good good question i the lady i was telling you Noreen stevens, Noreen stevens yeah. who was managing baete uh, in south africa there were there were two major bands there was baete and there was a group called sankomota who were like you know, like a, a fusion of jazz and Afro sound. Yeah. So she was managing Baete. Uh, so I signed a management deal with her. Yes. And then she became my manager. Yeah. And then she, that's how now she, we got in all these others, you know, Lucky du, Lucky Dubes management team, Gresham Records, what, what, what. Because the system in South Africa is that if you don't have a manager, it's 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 rigged in a certain way where if you're not connected and if you don't have a manager, no matter how talented you are, there's a sort of like protocol because the 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 industry and the and the man there's a there's a rule. So the, the, uh, an artist has to be signed by a, by a manager, yes, and that manager is connected to certain labels, yeah. So even if an artist is great and the, and a, uh, and a record company wants to sign that artist, this is how it was back in the day, they couldn't sign, so you couldn't go direct. They'll tell you, no, go speak to that manager. Manager, because I was already manager will control. Yeah. So that's what happened there. Um, I was the first artist, like I say, to have a hip hop number one record. I was the first artist to win three South African Music Awards. Urban. I was the first you artist. Call us three awards in South Africa. Yeah, 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 three awards. People in South Africa voted for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Three. Uh, three, 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 awesome. three awards. Yeah, there's. Uh, I've got the videos for it. You can, you can play. You know, mm. I was the first artist mm. to have an endorsement deal. I was had an endorsement deal with uh, with Coca Cola. Mm. I was in different adverts and so on and so forth so no it was it, it, it was good you know what i mean it was good man it was it was it was kind of like i was young when i was 18 at the time you know so it was like exciting you know what I, mean? I was living my dream you know yeah. yeah and moving to london yeah uh the decision to move and what was life in london like and what are the things that you think you achieved or shaped you while you were up there okay when I first went to London, I thought I'm a big star in South Africa. Yep. I'll be a big star in London, no problem. I'm called the manager of Technotronics, like I was telling you, John Cheatham has called me. What, what, what? Ah, I think I'm going to sound younger. But. Fancy Gabbing, Governor. Fancy Gabbing. I'm weird. I went to every single record company, major. But, but, but. I will get back to you. We'll get, we'll back, get to back to you. We'll no, get it's, back to you. it's right, but. Yeah. 
it's it's, 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 it's not our sound. Right. Yeah. It's, yeah. Well, everyone yeah. has their own sounds. Yeah. The entire internet, your the yeah. sounds are more integrated. Yeah. yeah. When you're going to sound, yeah. So what's what, what song is this? What sound is this? Mm. Ah, mm. Even back then, the Mafusa. Mafusa. Hip hop. Yeah, your mama did a jina MC Hamai. Yes. And some African uh, stuff. Some African pipe. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you understand. So, I'm not going to be there. Ah, yeah. I'm with So, started then going for smaller companies. Mm. Bola and Bola. We talk about a show. Perform, perform, Bola and Bola. So, um, it got tough. And I said nothing. I got banned from getting a guy. My guy is here yeah. calling. My guy is in South Africa. Taps, what's going on? Sure. How I left also. Mm. Never got to come venture, venture, George. Yeah. You understand? Mm. There's shows, there's this, there's so that. You, but so I was pissed off. You yeah. left people in suspense in South Africa. Very true. That's, that's, mm. that's the truth of it, you know? Mm. That's the truth of it. I left them in suspense because there was a break period between yeah. six months, mm. but it was between albums. So okay, in three months we'll start shooting. That's when I went to, to, to the London. UK. Okay. But um go UK go see good I mean no 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 no. It's like ah you know what? Okay, just work on this. Mm. Things it's take take it's take take. So I was like, ah, I must do the same thing. So I got my guy, we worked out a deal with the with the with the label. Um my I signed a production deal with this Tectotronics uh, company. Yeah. So that's when I got the release now, because otherwise I'd have had to go back to Gresham Records. Mm. But things dried up. Things didn't go well at first. Dried up big time. Mm -hmm. I, it's very you know. Yeah. Security, so you had to start working. Security guard. You're working as a guard. Hey, style. You know, um, this went on for about two, three years. Um, then I met a friend of mine, good friend of mine, uh, Terry, TNT, because I was still sort of like, at that point, remember, in South Africa, I wasn't producing. Mm. Then I started, I said, ah, you know, as an artist, and I, mm. because the guys I worked with, mind you, in uh, South Africa, yeah. where the guys who worked with Prince, the record label brought guys in from America. So I worked with top, top guys. You know, guys who had worked with big guys in, in America. Yes. Yeah, a guy called Donovan Culver, specifically, who was the main producer. So he used to teach me tricks, you know, like top of the class mm. tricks. So I mm. said, ah, production, let me get in more into it. Mm. So that's how I started getting more into production. With Terry, we set up a small little yeah. uh, studio. Okay. So you're in UK. Yes. Zobeza Madula Bo Zavuta. Mbola. Eh? Mapusha Pusangino Satega. Then you're like, ah, but when you go my gun, you didn't like this Very much. You so. get a peace job as a janitor. As a janitor. As a um, cleaner. As a, as a, they, they, they yeah. away boy. Or school, yeah. not garden boy. Okay. Uh, janitor. Yeah. Um, yeah, night watchman. Yes. Um, so then just to be sales. able to pay for apartments yeah, and feed yourself. Room. Hey. Hey, not even apartments. Ka, then ka you decided to start with, okay, let me enhance my production skills. No, where it switched really mm. was I got a job in um, sales. Yeah, a sales company, door to door company. Yes. Right? Mm. Now that switched my thing because there. To sell, you have to be able to understand to my business. Yes. So I had, at that, before that, I had no concept of business. But now these guys, every morning, they sit down and mm. like school you on yeah. business, what, profit, loss, this, yeah. this, To this, convince this. a client, this is what you have yeah. to do, this and that. Yes, mm. you know. Yes. So from that, I started to do quite well in that. So I start, I fell in love with that side of things. Then I had now Kadola, who got in Tagula no equipment. Mm. Not go out to my equipment, to my equipment. That's when I joined forces with my friend Terry McLeod. Okay. Terry, we joined forces. Then I really now got into production. I'd go to work, come back and just start working on production like nonstop. Two hours sleep, back to work, come back, working on production, working on production. And um, yeah, man, and then the word now started getting around. With, ah, hey, if you want production, Funny, you have, uh, yeah. but you know, in Wolverhampton, London, mm. East 17. 
then so, but then what is the name of your thingy? TNT Explosive. The name of the of the production company. Yes. TNT Explosive. That time. Yes. So it's Taps, Taps and, and Terry. Terry. Okay, yes. I see. Taps nah, and Terry. TNT nice. Explosive. Yeah. Now, yeah. where did the skill, production skill, come from? Because in South Africa, you were literally an artist. Yeah. So you were more like putting in vocals and all that. Mm. Production. No production. Like I say, when uh, when I was producing, because I did two albums in South Africa. One was called Let's Go. One was called Young Hip and African. Mm. Uh, during those periods, I because they'd put us together. They'd put us in a in a, like in a, a small apartment, right? A studio abo, abo engineer. In it, so work on things, guys. So Donovan would show me things, man. So I started the American yeah, guy, yeah, the American yeah, guy. Yeah. So that's how I started getting into it. So but that's what was the inspiration to answer your question. And then that's when, um, yeah, when I started really getting into it, that's where I used to draw inspiration from, because he was on a serious level, right? So you know now on a on a just like a local town level. Uh, production younger people could see the difference yeah and then one day this is now 2000 1999 2000 2000 2000 well yeah we'd set up for two three years you know these 10 guys walked in into our studio uh 10 guys 14 year olds you know white boys and then one black guy and it was like wow that was during the time there was a thing called garage right garage music yeah garage music at that point so my father to my floor what 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 so they walked in like yo man me and terry listen to these guys Garage was a fusion of rap and Asian. is it rock? Rock bass. Oh. a rap a fusion of hip-hop and drum and bass hmm. a slower version the drum and bass you know what drum and bass is drum and bass was like so it was like a mixture of mm -hmm hip-hop drum and bass and raga uh -huh. so it was like yeah it was like two-step so it was something called mm. two-step yeah yeah so we um uh these 10 kids walked in mm -hmm. i said no this is it and we knew it straight away mm. so we named the group blazing squad um uh, yeah blazing squad uh we did a demo with them four tracks we walked those tracks into uh, Warner Music. We got signed on the spot. We got a distribution deal, big deal, was worth about what three hundred fifty thousand US, you know, advance. But on the spot, they wouldn't let us leave. Shit. Wow. Yeah, they wouldn't let us leave. We went on. We had three number ones, two gold albums. No bloody with way. Those guys. Yeah. Oh. Changed everything. That changed everything. Now Warner was is a, huge was a huge company. Yeah, it was the biggest yeah. in the world. Yeah. Yes, the biggest in the world. Even the guy now, the guy who I'm doing this deal with, Yapa Mozi. He's a guy, Christian Tattersfield. Guys should look him up. He's now maybe the most influential guy in the whole music in the whole world. At that point, he was just he was head of Warner's, and so we kept those contacts. Mm. So um, that's uh, yeah. So we went on first track, Crossroads, with Blazing Squad. Go to YouTube now, guys. Check this out, right? <laughs> okay. And go. And I'm going to go to Blazing Squad in days. Just go by YouTube. Whatever you're listening to, this, make sure you go to YouTube. Yeah. Even the name. And check yeah. it out. Google Blazing Squad. Go, no, Google Taps. Who these people are? Blazing Squad. Google that. Yeah. Then it will give you the history of that as well. So, then we had, yeah, like I say, three number ones, five top tens, two, um, um, two gold albums. Then now we're in now with the production. Now we're working Jamelia, Liberty X, So Solid Crew, Genuine, who, who, who. So Basif, they don't want no game. Oh, yeah. You understand? So that's that saga in, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in the UK. Yeah. So for that was from 2000 to 2005. That's then I'll tell five you. Year. That's five years of five, exploring and making Then I'll tell you another UK. story. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How we wound up here. But that's it. That's that's that saga that's the part i want to hear <laughs> I, for, 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 for us the reason of asking everything else is because i remember i was a kid i was a kid i think i was in secondary school yeah. and i was listening to 101 then yeah. i was on 101 and they played some songs and they said 
Tapua Bandawe Taps is uh, yeah. coming back and uh, there were all these songs uh, that you yeah. had done and I was like okay wait a minute yeah, yeah, who is yeah. this Tapua it was like a huge yeah, moment yeah, yeah. for the oh, music industry the yeah. way it was announced and they wow, wow. So I was like okay who is this Tapua and yes. okay where is it coming from yeah and the, the sound that I heard that day I was like wait what production is this yeah you can see the have, difference we have eh? been listening to all the other production from the yes. Aluya band yes. production mm. to chuma soko yes. uh, colin ali and yes, all this yes, yes yes and there was the hip-hop that was going on yes. in malawi yeah. there yeah and that day i listened to what they said was your production yes. said wait who is this guy yeah yeah, yeah now yeah. how what happened for you to now Move from the UK okay. and get back to Malawi. Because you're talking about 2005? 2005. And it could be around the, the, the same time, I think. Yes. Because I was in 2005, I was in Form 2007, three. I came Seven. back. Yeah. Yeah. 2005, I was in Form 3. But I know it was around my Form 3 or Form 4. Yeah. What's okay. the story? The story is this. So 2005, uh, black music now really hit 2004 2005 this music this garage music that we were doing with uh blazing squad what 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 we were touring all over the world with the group and so on it really hit now what, what tended to happen now it so it shifted the dynamics because before that it was in the charts it was always like oasis etc etc black music maybe Ka, ka, yeah, 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 soul yeah, to soul, yeah. here, here. So it was really a big shift in dynamics. Now, in the UK, there's a system where, especially pop music, right? Mm. For you to break into that pop music mode back in those days, pre-internet, pre, not internet, but pre-social media, you would have to go on what was called a teen tour. So you would go to every city, like they would have a, from between six, no, between six and eight, right, on certain days, mm. nightclubs would hold a thing for like, my, 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 teen, teen. my teen kids. Yeah. I'm down in Minimum. So you'd go there, maybe you would do, you go to Nottingham, you play Nottingham, pa, 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 you drive to Leicester, you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So this was like teen kids, 18, 16 to 18, 16 to 14 to 18. So now, because now, this is what happened in the politics. Yeah. All the record labels started signing all these black artists, black, blah, 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 and they started blowing up, blowing, uh, blowing, blowing, blowing. Uh -huh. Now, when going on these teen routes, hmm. but Baby Yeah. We're going crazy for these. Boys. For these black boys. Yeah, because in some <laughs> areas they'd never seen a black boy. Now this is like their hero. Yes. So what tended to happen started happening now hmm. is these these stars they'd have like these chicks here what 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 so in in england there's a undercurrent is the racist isn't like up there but there's an undercurrent now the parents started noticing ah, our daughters are, are fed are these niggas one yeah uh, hey, 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 hey. Hey. so really it became very very serious so the government made a, 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 a literal decision. They said, no, this music shut it down. Mm. It was an unwritten law, so it, did, it wasn't publicized. Yeah. Mm. But in 2005, the government literally said, shut down black music because these guys are going in town, in, into cities, impregnating our little girls. What, 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 mm. what, what, what? All independent record companies shut them down. So for sure they shut them down. You couldn't, you know, so we were released. Our guys, hey, there's nothing we can do. Mm. Ah, guys, come on, do we hit her? No, hey. no, no. Once again, in the wilderness, boss. Fuck. Out of business. Out of business. Just like that. Out of business. Now there you've yeah. mortgaged you this, you that. Yeah, okay. All the bills to pay. Okay. Blood, yeah. All right. What do I do? Now, from that sales job, boom right mm. i got a job as a I, I studied my financial services diploma or whatever it's called certificate then i became a stockbroker right stockbroker so started earning good decent money 
So money wasn't really, really an issue. But the music game was an issue. And that's where the passion lies. Then, remember I told you we used to dance, 1985. Yeah. This, this world is full circle, you know. Uh, we used to dance. Then the guys whose group we were in was a guy called Ian Thompson. Yeah? Mm. A guy called Ian Thompson, whose brother was Oscar Thompson. Oh, one they one. the father no, one, to... Um, to, to, to this Theo. Theo. Theo, yeah. Yes. So we grew up with those. Mm. So Oscar and them, they did, uh, they, um, uh, he came, he said, hey man, I've got this radio station in Malawi, 101, what, 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 what. Come down, man. Let's do something. So I, I was meant to come down just for just a month. Mm. Right? That's when they were saying this. That's when I came in 2007. <sighs> yes. But then, I, I, man, I fell in love with it. With, with it. I, was, I saw the potential in what is possible in changing the sound and what. So before I used to just go, come back, go, come back. So that's how I wound up here in 2007. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that's how So were you working with the radio station, Kavina? No, you we had set up uh, something called Matara Records. Matara Records. Matara yeah. Records. Because, yeah. like, uh -huh. because yeah. when that happened, when those announcements, oh, yeah. Taps Bandar is here, the next thing that we heard was Matara Records. Yeah. But, um, those announcements when we knew yes. there's a new dude big yeah. dude yeah. in in the music circles Taos Bandai, where he's big he's been in SA he's been in London yes. he's a global icon literally yeah. coming yeah. into yeah. the Malawi music the Malawi circles scene, yes. you you had produced some songs that actually went on air at that yes. particular time yes which were your first productions and what was the working um chemistry like for you to now start producing malawian sounds okay that's a that's, that's a that's a good question my first productions when i first came was i would look at the scene uh my first production actually was joyful souls joyful souls <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm thinking the, the like, come out or no because when I was at Matala like, guys just used to come you mm. understand yeah. but when this guy sang the a cappella, I was like whoa man I need I to work with this yeah thing. otherwise yeah. I just used to because I used to build a build a lot yeah. yes. but that's that inspired me so that was my first then I worked uh, connected with Lucius mm. we worked on a few things with Lucius uh, Edgar and D. Davis um, uh, my first guys that I really liked were Ajina and Dana, Ajina ICE. Mm. Uh, what were they called, man? Um, With Nick. Nick. And Nick. Yeah. yeah, they, they, they oh. won. They won the next big thing on the yeah, when they yeah, were in high school. Yeah, that was it. That was that was the production I put my heart yeah, into. Those icebergs. Yeah, those icebergs. Those, yeah. Yes, those those guys. So we did that. Um, uh, I'm not forgetting anyone, but really that was the, yeah, that was the genesis. Then uh, we linked up with Tay Green now. That's when I knew, okay, that's a star now. Mm. That's a star. That's Poof. a big guy. He walked in, I said, oh, okay, okay, okay. The way he was handling himself, what, what, My what? God, Valinchiro. Valinchiro. Now, that's <laughs> where the beef now is normally also started. Okay. Ah, <laughs> tell, us, tell us about is. that, because you I know. know be Hmm? You used to work with Loma as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah Loma because was he was a like DJ at 101. Every, every so he was uh, affiliated to 101. Yes. And then there's Ted Green. Loma was the DJ at 101. At 101. Yes. I, I remember that time there was, there was Lomwe, there, there was Drew, there was. Yes. Um, was it Naftali? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was the bomb squad. Yes, yeah, the bomb squad. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, Tay comes in. Oh, yeah, man. I'm hearing yeah, him, he's playing me stand up, Chancha. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, this guy's yeah. a star. There's something about this mm. guy. So my guy, Arjuna Lomo, Arjuna Drew, used to come to the studio all the time. I wait, I wait, I wait, I wait. Many beats. So there was one day, uh, Lomo came with Mr. President. Yeah, yeah. I don't a beat again. Oh, okay, I okay. Want to do a joint song? So I did, did build this song. They came, they wrapped it. What, what, what? As they, they had to now go to work. So as they're leaving, Tay is coming in, right? Mm -hmm. 
This beat is on. See, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you what I'm going to say. time, I was just about the music. I'd work like maybe 24 7. Ah, okay, ah, guys, bo, 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 bo. Ah, no, 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 no. Okay, cheers, 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 cheers. In a single new one in town, I don't know who's who, what, what. Ah, no, nah, cool. Tell says, hey, man, play, play that thing, man. Play the beat. Why, uh, fucker? Play, play the beat. Pa! You're a young man, you're a young man, you're a Mr. President. Yes. Yeah. So now, Tay says, hey, man, that, sh that thing is heavy. That shit is hot. That, 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 that shit is that, fire. That shit is, and it was fire. <laughs> and if you go and listen to it now, you, yes. you'll see the fire. Yes. So now, Trey says, yeah, man. So I say, yeah, yeah, it's for, for the guys, you know. He says, no, I'll tell you what. Yeah. Trey says, I'll tell you what, man. Let's rap to that, right? Mm -hmm. Let me write something. Like, then you'll do me something similar at, the, at, 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 that, at that pace. And he was being genuine. Mm -hmm. Ah, he starts right. So he wanted something like that. Like that. But he says no. Not that. But he says no. But he says no. Let's do the beat. Yeah. Let's, let's work with this On beat. this beat, yes. Yeah, let's work with this one. Yeah. Then. We'll see it. We'll see it. We'll see it. Yes. In the ah, no problem. So he raps on the same beat. We rapped. What he did was fire also. Yeah. <laughs> it's the song that came out of. Uh, Focus Africa on his on his on his album. Mm. Focus Africa. If you go and listen to it, mm. and you'll still hear long way in the in the background. In the background. <laughs> so you put your time when I tell you, I'm cool. Ah, nice, nice, nice. And it came out fire. What I did with Tay. So he says, "Don't give me a copy. Let me go now. Give me a copy of the track and give me a copy of just the the blank, right?" Of the of the, of the instrumental, instrumental. Yeah. ah, but no, I'll write to it. Then you will build something. I said no problem. One pass a beat. One pass a beat. Ah, no problem. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, man, because this happens in the studio. Yes. Ah, I'm in. You know, roll my way out, roll it. I'm in next day. I'm in. Huffing and puffing. Hey, what's up, man? You gave me my beat. You, I said, oh, what you talking about? The tracks, um, the track, man, we came, it's on radio, man. The thing is, are you serious? <laughs> <laughs> the next day, the thing was on radio. Same day. Okay, you know, same the same day. day. Same I, same same day. Day. Okay, you know what? I think I, I think I, I was listening to the radio that day. It was on one one, mm -hmm. right? There was, the, there was a show called uh, Beat, no. Was that the Sprite What's Your Thirst show? It yeah, was a hip hop yeah, thing yeah, that was coming yeah. out in the evening. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Fridays or something, yeah, yeah, and yeah. I think the host was Naftali for that show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and wow. they were they had Ted Green, yeah, and then he needed to do a freestyle, yeah, and I think he used that beat. Okay. If I'm not, I think he was like, he, he like had a beat, yeah, now it makes sense because. That was actually the first it time I had to. It wasn't the agree. plan also for him. He, yeah, yeah, it was like, I think it, they needed to play something. How it so happens. I was like, oh, do you have something? So it's like, oh, yeah. And I think they played that beat and it was like freestyling over that beat. And people were like, yo, it was like, yo, this you is were the right. in. I, I so remember people we just calling started in playing it. Start, yeah. Even international guys were like, hey, man, that track, we want to start playing it. Mm. You understand? So this is crazy. So that's it was it, it was a misunderstanding. I wouldn't say Tay was being devious because yes, was not going to get a menu. But how long we took it, how Tay, how it was understood. Hey, it everybody was, like it, was like, ah. it blew up, man. So that was the the genesis of that thing, you know, of that beef. Um, you know, those were exciting but times. But do you think Tay took an opportunity? He knew what he was doing. Don't you think so? Deep down, because it was fire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. To be honest no. with you, I, I, someone would do it. Because first of all, it was when fire. he walked in, yeah. he knew good my guys are working like yeah. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. When he asked for example, he knew good in the sample yeah, anybody. Yeah, yeah, we're not naive. We're going to need something similar to that. Yeah. And he knew good. He didn't get what he was his. And it was like, you know, no, it. that's true. I hear you. And and okay, yeah. you know the crazy thing mm. about the whole situation is, yeah. Lomwe and President yes. were DJs yes, at 101. 101. Yes. And that day, Tay Green took that beat from to 101. To 101. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just like, wait a minute, what's going on? It was crazy, man. It was crazy, man. Okay. So I said, hey, what's up? Ah, man. It was, so he explained it to me, Tay. He's like, no, man, it, that wasn't the thinking. It was this, but it's <laughs> gone. It's gone anyway. Yeah, I'm going to 
It oh. was, uh, yeah, man. We've, I've seen beefs, man. I've seen beefs. But that was crazy. Beef, yeah, yeah. Yeah, JB in the Argentina yeah, team. Yes, but yeah. that one was crazy. Yeah, you know, yeah, that one was crazy. Yeah, yeah, that one was crazy. Well, it started because really. I think Longway made almost the whole album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About, <laughs> about <laughs> <laughs> No, that, that really hurt him, man. That really hurt him. Yeah. Because I mean, to be fair, sense. what yeah. he spat on there was serious, you know? Yeah. Because he'd always been coming to me. Ah, taps, you know, I rap. I this as ah, man. That day, I gave him the opportunity. Because I wouldn't work with just anyone back mm. then, you know, uh, as it is now. But that day I gave him an opportunity. So it was like, yeah, man. And he put his heart in it. And, he, mm. and, he, and what he did, I was like, hey, man, yeah. This is fine. So I think, and to be fair, it may have blown. Not it may have, it would have blown. Mm. So now to say someone's like, it's like you're seeing your golden goose. We know I got what you think. So yeah. I think it was, it was a problem. But, um, you know, um, it just, it's just how it turned out, you know. So how did, how did you solve the situation on your part? No, I tried to just talk to this guy, say, no, it was a mistake. It was this. Was, no, man, he knew what he was doing, man. It was what I said, hey, man. Come on, Ineo. You guys. I would blame him. He breached the contract. <laughs> no. <laughs> it was, it was, it contract. was there contract. <laughs> it happens, because this guy's guy just there, like. It happens all the time. In, in, we like, can't beat I mean, it. We don't know. Don't <laughs> Then later, I gave it to someone else. That's what he did. But it wasn't the, it wasn't the, 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 the exact the, beat. The, it the, was that what? Can you get <laughs> something <laughs> like that? It happens all the but time. But he gave him the like, not the like that. He gave him the actual thing. The actual <laughs> thing. Hey. No, that's true oh, as well. Oh, you gave him the actual hey, thing. I do. I I don't know No, sure. I'm not going to say rap. I'm not going to say that. So I'm not going to say that. 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 So I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that. But in your head, you, in your head, you don't think what it will end up on radio yeah. Yeah. because for a song to end up on radio in the in the uh, system that I came up with mm. uh, in the UK or in in uh, in South Africa, sunga what they got radio nyimbo you wanna release you wanna chan 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 come pass a DJ unless he the he jodi I wanna my collect my demo yeah you understand mm. so that was I never thought that yeah but you hardly cannot take a demo tape in the video yeah, yeah. I, I'm I'm telling you mm. if I'm not if I'm wrong then it's another thing yeah. but I know I was listening to this yeah. because I was like really something to this. happened and yeah. that's when Tech Green actually came in it he used that beat yeah. and he was freestyling over it <laughs> yeah 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 during the show yeah. Yeah. So, I'm sure it's then. yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it was, was, it was, it was an a evening show, beat, man. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was a heavy, it was a heavy beat, man. And that's the track they also played whenever uh, a Malawian person would walk in at Big Brother back in the days. Yes. Yeah, the interest. The interest yeah, that was, it was that track. Yeah. That track. That's is how the big this one was. No, it was a serious track. Wow. When, when we didn't release it because the beef said, "I ah, know, boss." Can't be involved with it. Yeah, now you release yeah, it. You you're inviting bad spirits now. But if that would have been like a major, major. It was mm -hmm. built for for worldwide, you know. So it was. Yeah, that's that's where beef. I don't know what it mean. And I need my beef down, down. Okay. That you didn't. Yeah, know, before you so, so, so this was at Matalala. Matalala. Yeah. So for but then from Matalala, how did you end up in the audio visual 360? From Matalala with uh, with Oscar. Yes. Um. We we decided ah you know he had he had a vision his own vision I had my own vision mm. then we said ah you know what man we've known each other over thirty years you know go and do your thing and, you know I'll do my thing so he carried on and Theo was coming I said ah, I don't know when Theo comes in fact because let me come back to go forward in the UK mm. I used to produced Theo. He had a band with three, two other guys. Mm. So I used to produce him based on his father. Say, hey man, my son, what, 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 what. Yes. Was actually when Theo was born, I was there back in the days. Right. But that's an, another story. So that's how now I went. Um, I went to set up uh, Audio Vision 360. Yes. That's where now we really did some, you know, uh, big hits now because now I could just follow my own, you know, vision. Mm. That's when now we did the Ntawi with Lucius Banda. That's when now we did, you know, the two by twos. Because, you know, we did two by two at Madalala. That's when we did the uh, Nyao music. We did Dan Luz. We did, uh, yeah, man. Uh, but then. Tenta, you know, the kind of I yeah. think from Audio Vision 360. Yeah. Olomontu Ndisana Ziwe, Woody. 
nyimbo hii yapo ngido kule akudu ndi madzui rado the type of beats you make yes, you, yes. you have a certain touch yes. and your beats are yes. heavy yes you make yes. heavy beats yes sisi makazo bebo ga ya yes and what's more interesting is how you master your vocals yes i've never heard anyone yes who does vocals like that yes yes what is your secret because especially with my vocals my yes. you mean in my get a sin of my banga why no i have worked in my producers and in the yes. music promotion business yes but i've never heard vocals like that and i'm saying so because yes. I used to promote Dali yes. as an artist. Okay, Dali yes. had worked with so many producers yes. including Slay, BFB, yes. uh Stitch Frey. Yes. And there was one time yeah. he came to your studio. Yes. He made one song. Yes. But yes. then you were working with Yesaya. Right? Yes, yes. If yes. I'm not wrong. Yes, correct. Yeah. Nyimbo yemini yoyo which came from your studio yes. and whatever else he has done. Yeah. Zimasiana. No, I'm not I saying good enough they don't know how to produce but yeah. the way you do there's something different. I'm a trigger when they go there now. Ah, uh, yeah. we just go stay to ja. Because there's a certain there's certain ways that you, you know, that that that, that, that was schooled, especially mm. what you say the vocal. Yes. You know how where you how you've got to listen to it, how you've got to compress it, how you've got to EQ it, mm. how you've got to limit it. You know how you've got to make it work with the kick. You know, those are just little tricks, you What's, know. Dennis Apart from him, the only person who knows those secrets is Yesaya. Mm. Yesaya was a monster. If you and him were to die, uh, yeah, Yesaya was a beast. Yes, yes, yeah. Yesaya yeah. was a beast, man. I loved working with Yesaya. In fact, Yesaya was, he's uh, he's something special, man. He's something special, you know. And uh, great kudos, I want to give him on like Mwezwawala. Yes. Yeah. When we did Mwezwawala. In the air. Yes, yeah. yeah. the air. That was my artists. next conversation. Yeah. So, yeah. because you have studied it, yes. talk about Yesaya, and yeah. then let's get into how that came about. Yes. The Mwezwawala oh. project. No, Yesaya, Yesaya was, uh, he came, you know, with his brother, said, hey man, you know, we, you know, we do, we, we in arts, et cetera, et cetera. And he was a kid with a magic touch, man. You know, he could, uh, he had that ear, he had that magic ear, hmm. you know, and he could play any genre. Um, so my thing was not to teach him, but just to guide him hmm. on, you know what I mean? To yes. guide him. Hmm. Because now how I looked at it is, you know what? I've got a guy here, I'll guide him. He, he, he can do in the studio what I can do pretty much, man, mm. to be honest with you. Mm. Yeah, and more because he could play better, you know? Yeah. Yeah, I could really play better. So, okay, now it's about just teaching him a structure of how a hit, how a hit works. Because a hit works whether it's now or in 50 years. Yeah. The arrangement is exactly the same of a, of a major hit. You get some you know that diversify from that but they are the exception rather than the rule so yeah man yesaya was uh, was uh yeah man i loved working with yesaya kamola you know the team then even now my, the guy i've got in there richard so i've always worked with these proteges you know and also, before was, you go further yeah Many my many the production language. Tita kudenga ndo kwa 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 you know, because well, it's down to the tools. Mm. It's down to how you know how to use a compressor. Is it a CLA compressor? Is it a Neumann compressor? Is it a, those? Are, that's that's the difference. Now, if you tell me, it's like so, asking so someone. No, my compressor is not free. Yes. Because you know, you're not free. 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 Because you <laughs> yeah, but it's also yeah. the flip side is also is also the same. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. What am I doing? You mm. understand? Mm. So everyone, it's the down to the tools that you you utilize, man, mm. that make you who you are. You know? mm. Yeah, uh, understanding those tools. Okay. Yes. So now let's go to the Mwezu Awala because um, apart from producing with different artists yeah. and all that. 
we were surprised there's a project and it's a it's airtel but it's all the major big artists that yes. probably have never worked together yes we had new guys coming onto the scene and guys who are the biggest now yeah who are the biggest now uh, yeah. and we have uh, these guys who are the biggest then yeah and they collaborate on a yeah. song and yeah yeah, yeah. no that airtel. was a vision that was a vision that uh, that i had uh, actually, no, I lie. To be honest with you, that was a vision that uh, Isabel had. Isabel Masika, yeah, marketing. Isabel director. had that vision. Isabel had that vision. Then, just talking, you know, I've got this idea. What, 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 what? Then, in their conversation, like, how do we get to produce it? Then, Emmanuel actually is the one who said ah no man production speak to taps mm. right you know emmanuel right yeah uh he was working at eto oh M -M yes. yeah, yeah, yeah 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 so now um yeah and then i got the call but first they wanted eight eight artists eight artists it wasn't that it wasn't they wanted eight artists uh we know all then we know hip-hop then the more i thought about it man i said listen that's when I really put my, you know, injected my, my thought process into it. I said, listen, if we're going to do this, let's do something that lives forever. You know, we'll have old artists, new artists, different genres, yeah. different ages. The local uh, art, it will be one song, but the um, the Mafana Reggae, Section Yawin Vegangad Reggae, Mafana Hip Hop Vegangad Hip Hop. My final yeah. gospel, we got the gospel. We make any boy more. Okay, so when you're pro, uh, producing the audio, yeah, did you already have the imagination of the music video? She forgot video. It makes it easy to transist mm. from no. one, one singer to another. Yeah. No, hey. the audio thought came first. Oh, yeah. Then from the audio, or from the audio, mm. I think it happened at the same time, man, because. It was, yeah, it was, it, it was happening at the same time, really. But the audio came first mm -hmm. because we sat down. First, we started the slow, remember uh, Lucia's, etc., etc. Et mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So there was myself, Mlaka, Code Sangala, mm -hmm. and McDonald Chinkango who were writing. So we said, yeah, TNT boy, guys. So I called Mlaka because I'd worked with a lot of artists. Now, when I was working with artists, two, three guys actually stood out writing. Mm. Guys with a golden pen. That's Lucius, Mlaka, Dan Lu. Those guys are beasts. It, at that point, when it comes to certain songs. Yeah. So I called Mlaka, I said, I'm a boy, TNT. Because I wanted Chichewa, Chichina Jaga Chiche, you understand? Yes. So, that's when we, we we designed it. After that, we went uh, with Code. We worked on the chorus. Code now, that time, Ali Hot, I don't know where we are. I don't know where we are. Oh, well, big brother, Ali Hot. I don't know where we are. Then we went on to uh, Reggae, Ajina, uh, Ma Black Sea, yes. uh, Blasto. Matumbi, mm. uh, yeah, and so on and so forth. Black Jack, yes, yeah. Um, then we went to hip hop, Guamba, Pixie, Tay Green. Forget who else was there. Yeah, then we went that. to gospel, Patience Namadingo, Faith Musa, Mlaka, uh, Ethel Kamwendo. That was the one song, eh? Yeah, mm. uh, yeah. Shit, how long is uh, that? Just for me, for, for me, me or for something. Me. Okay, that's the craziest uh, part. Yeah, I yeah. don't understand, and everybody has got their part. Yeah. And every time I, I, of course, I like watch the video more. Yeah. I watch yeah. the video more. I'm yes. like, wait, yeah. what happened here? And how did, was this yeah. possible? You know, I think yeah. the longest song I've made is about maybe seven minutes. No, this is four thirty. Four four thirty. Wow. Four and you 30. have got how many artists? 20, 21. No way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Sunbe. Yes. I, no, I, 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 I watched that song and I was like, mm. wait. Yeah, no, it was, it was, it's a powerful song, man. And it's not even started yet. It's a powerful song, man. Hey. But the crazy thing is, the guys who were like the new ones at that point, all right, the artists, what is son, Atuluga, Goma, Bubbling, Namadingo, Guamba, uh, who else was there? 
uh, the new artist, I think, yeah, Namadi. Pixie had just, Pixie had just, yeah. I get it, it was more like a show. Those are guys, yes. Into, yes, yeah, yeah. I was talking about two minutes, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I was talking about two minutes, got to Ndefeo. So I think it was actually. When you had just signed the airtop contract of yes. before, it was like that. No, it was that period, yes. Yeah. It was that period. So, all, what's great is that the selection is so good that all those art, there isn't an artist on there who, who never I'll made say it. is fallen off. Yeah. And another interesting factor That's was good. the guy you, you even chose to do the music video with. Yes. Chibi Kony, Chibi Kony, yeah, yeah, yeah. Chibi Kony did the music video. Oh, yeah. I think Chibi, you had to yeah. make sure Chibi, that yeah, yeah, Chibi did least. it, but also Isaiah. Yeah. Comes, but GP was a nice shasha. Yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. No, he was big contributor. Yes. Camera, what, yes. what, what? Yeah, yeah, everything really. Yeah. So he was he was a big contributor. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Apart from music production, mm. because you've done Ajina Take Green, yes. Ajina Lucius Banda. Yes. And you work with Candy Airtel. Yes. So apart from making music, I noticed Kuri, you are so much into Pro, you are so much into producing my commercials, yes. my adverts. Yes. So I'll how tell did you, you balance I'll tell the you entertainment that, part and the, the marketing part? Yeah, that's a good point. How it came about, really, mm. I had no want for the... <laughs> I, had no, I had no thought about it. What did you mean? When coming. Yes. So I'm with Umaduga Ugaka Mo Studio Muja entire menu. Nimbo Marty Stack where I went for an album. That's why you see I've never done many albums. I mean I mean do many and you boy Ah the even to get 15 pin for Nimbo Menu. Yeah, yeah. Tell me my three pin, my five pin. I mean I went fifteen do many anymore. All right, this is now the time I had to stand alone, right? Because mm. when I came, I came with a little wax, so I was like, okay, yeah. this will keep me going, so yeah. I could not worry. Yeah. Now, once again, Katumbaka Jagaya Bagudani. Gamba Pueda. Yeah. Then a guy called Elias Iman, who was marketing manager of uh, uh, Carlsberg. Carlsberg. You moved from Carlsberg, then went to Terracons. Yes. He was one of the biggest marketers. He was Carlsberg. Time in here. Yeah. 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 So, ah, up. Production so the way, but yeah, mm. I, want, I want an advert. I mean, just an advert. Yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah. An advert. Okay. That was for Carlsberg. Time in here. Yeah, for Carlsberg. Yes. Time in here. Say, how much will you give me? I'll give you 120. Okay, 120. One, mm. in, ah, that's five. Six, six songs. Six songs. Six songs. I went in there half an hour. Ka, 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 ka. I said, ah, no, it's taken too quick, actually. But anyway, E. 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 No, we have an hour pass. They don't even need beer to Maliza. We'll go over the Mavos in Maliza. Mastering, mastering, all the nimbles. Now we're in the moment. Papa, 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 Yes. Money is a terrible yeah, thing, yeah, yeah. boss. <laughs> <laughs> Talent. It's a terrible thing. Brings money. <laughs> so now I started thinking, okay, now yeah. this is how it switched now. Yeah. Now, when I was doing that, I started making money. Po, yeah. po, 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 nice money. But I could still now, now I could still go back into music and yeah. take time, but choose who I want to work with. Uh-huh. Do you know, my producer, I don't know many of My guys, this one, I'm going to watch any industry. Watch any watch. Hey, I don't find a tap, sir. Yeah, I'm going to leave it at taps one twenty. I feel. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to go to the music. Music from a music element. So my guys, I got it. Oh, they are not. I'm not failed producers. Yes. So. The sound, some is you. Jingwa mangu banga kuti basi. 
advert. Yeah. Kwa mungu ya menye sound, sama hata umenye sound, menye ma menye. Yes. So if you when we came into that... Sound, and, uh -huh. plus jingo, ndi wanga advert with menye, everything. Yeah. That, yes. So it was different. Mm. So my guy, ah, ndia magwiri zana my guy. I'm going to put it. I'm going to put it. Okay, I say, 150 age, yeah. In the thing as chan chan, you look as a fifty. Ah, I see. So when I have a bo bo bo, yeah, bo bo, bo bo, bo bo, bo bo, bo bo, bo So now every producer now started going into that field. Yeah. The ambassador drawing up. I said no, 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 no. That's when now you have to think outside the box. That's when mm. I came up now with my own concept mm. of not just being the one producing the advert, but bring making a platform where those adverts are played. You understand? That's when we came up with now in-store in radio, radio and shopping mall radio, you know? So that's, yeah, because now something that way, where the penetration, you're doing outside people to come in wouldn't be so easy because mm. you've tied up all the malls, you've what, what, what. So, yeah, that's it, really. That's it, yeah. That's interesting. Yeah. So you have practically evolved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and you to, have to, to still be in the industry. Yeah, you have to. You and, have and, to. And, and for me, I think the biggest thing that I think everyone could mm. learn from you yeah. is how you need to evolve. Yeah, yeah. From to. being an artist, yeah. moving from SA to London, mm. and then going through everything that mm. you never you imagined. To, yeah, the highs and Working everything to production. Mm. From production coming to Malawi, mm. music production, mm. to adverts, mm. in-store radios, mm. and... We, you now have uh, Gold Mud Media. Yeah, Gold Mountain. Gold Mountain Mud Media. Media. Now we have Amaryllis E Radio. E Radio. We've got Pamuti Soundscape, where we've taken all the artists. We've given, now we've signed over, what, about 300 and so artists, given them worldwide distribution. Let's talk about that now. Yeah, no because problem. Because I think the biggest challenge that we currently have as an industry in mm. Malawi is distribution. Yeah. Everybody's putting out their music, it's on YouTube, it's on yeah. Spotify, it's on all these platforms. Yeah. But when you talk about global distribution where we are trying to compete in the yeah. and countries to monetize. In, yeah. and competition not just for the fame and yeah. the numbers, because drama, yes. artist is actually yeah. earning yeah. something from there. Yes. It's been missing. Correct. And you came up with the uh, Pamudzi soundscape. Correct. Pamudzi. Pamudzi. Yes. Soundscape. Yeah. Can you break down what this is about and how are artists going to benefit from it? All right. Pamudzi Soundscape originally started as, in terms of, from a cultural perspective, where if we don't digitize our culture, this was the thinking, if we don't digitize our, cu our culture and bring it into the modern era, our culture will be gone. Yeah. You understand? Absolutely. So it came from that point of view, from a cultural point of view, right? So guys like Tay, guys like what, they're keeping the culture alive, but we all, people also need to hear, Zakar is easier to draw on it, but if those aren't, weren't put in the digital age and, and, uh, and uh, you know, so that people in Japan, wherever can listen to them, it'll finish. So it, that's yeah, where it started, down. from that point of view. Um, so I did a deal where I, uh, with the Ministry of Culture and uh, Kosoma, where they gave me a license to take all folklore music, digitize it, and put it on digital platforms. So someone in Japan can hear it, someone where, 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 original music. So. We've got music from Kota Kota, Duangwa, Chan Chan, Chan Chan, Chan Chan, Sanjay. Sanjay, wherever, right? So we've got volume one of each one, Muntua Takubita, Kagamba, music, yeah? Kumene Goko, original Goma. The real one. We went to all the Indian. And believe me, it's, it's, we have power in this country. We're just not user. So that's where it started from. Then from there, we were like, all right, you know, for Malawi to grow, what have we got? My, my company like Disky, etc., who offer worldwide distribution, but all they do is they give you the distribution. Number one, two, you've got to pay for it, which is right. They're business people. Yep. But three, they won't market you. Right. And they, you won't, leave your they, music they there. won't give you guidance. Yeah, yeah. You leave your music there. That's they won't it. give you guidance. I'm a guy. Build yourself 
Are you on TikTok? How are you using your TikTok? How are you doing this? How are you doing that? So what I did is I, like I said, from my Blazing Squad days in the UK, that deal I did, that big mm -hmm. deal where I was talking. So I kept in touch with a lot of the guys who are now at the top of the industry. So I managed to secure a deal where we can offer artists, not just worldwide distribution, on 450, 447 actually, uh, digital platforms, uh -huh. but also at no charge to themselves, as long as they hit a certain criteria. The criteria are the music must be good quality. Uh -huh. They must be on all social media platforms, uh -huh. right? Mm. Um, and they must post regularly. We'll teach them ways to post, ways to push their music. Um, uh, but if they're doing it the right way and there's a vibe happening, we then have the access to take that music, right? And place it in movies. For example, now we've placed three songs in, 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 in movies. One uh, uh, Spanish movie, one BBC documentary. Wow. And yeah, and, an, and, and another series. Yeah. Believe me, the, the one Did for Africa, Africa, is, is uh, big time, else. big time. Mm. But even Zoma Zuk said about TikTok, Iba. Yes. Because where this thing is registered digitally, it's registered in, in a monetized Okay, so let me ask you a question right now. If I have a catalog, I can submit my catalog to yes, you. That one and yeah. yeah. the phone number is the one. Yeah. Oh, uh, like, I, goodly, like, I want these songs for you to distribute. Yeah, we distribute them. We push, we guide. Every month you get a you get a, a, a breakdown. So do you get to explain. choose which artists you need to work with? Or coming artists, I mean, not in the material, you know, you, are, you can accept them. No, as long you. as they have access. But then yeah. we choose which which. But then, but then we, we choose which artists we push. You understand what I mean? Okay. We choose which artists we push. For example, now mm -hmm. we're just about to sign Lucius Banda's whole catalog. I want to push that now. Kata from Kali yeah. Kali. Oh, yeah, he's, yeah. He's, he's, he's done his... Yeah. From Hallelujah Band. Yeah, yeah, from way back. His latest you know. album with number, yeah. album number 20. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Everything. That everything, is everything. So, you know, but we want to push it in a, it's good. Now that's where the people say like, wow, you know, because yes, yeah, these yeah, yeah, young yeah. guys, but you still need a, a beast where people see, whoa, this is, you know, mm. and, wow. and there's finance as well in this deal. Yeah. There's a lot of finance, right? No. Where guys will support, will you know push what? this thing. Tabs, one thing that when you mentioned Lucius Banda, you know, there are songs of Lucius Banda that you don't find online. Yes. And you yes. still, you want, yes, you want, you want to listen, yeah, because yeah. this day, so it's like, oh. Yeah. Yeah. You are a party with yes, your friends, you yes, want to play yes. this song and how yes. we, and then you say, ah, yes. go to YouTube. Yeah. You don't get a lot of no, the other don't. songs. Yeah. But these are songs that you still want to keep in in your Correct. memory and Correct. use whenever you have anything Correct. going on. Yeah. So that's so that's part of it, man. So there's a lot I want to discuss on this, but I have to shoot the gentleman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Okay. These guys are on Wait, my case. So yeah. before you go, <laughs> yes. I've got like a list of questions that go. you actually like go through in go. 30 seconds, 30 Let's seconds, go, 30 seconds, Let's 30 go. seconds. Let's go. One, and this disclaimer, disclaimer, yes. these are not our questions. Uh, no, these are questions ahead. that came from people that watch podcasts uh, yes, and they yeah. wanted to hear yeah, from go on. you. Yeah. One, why did you choose to take down the song Nyele, which you did with Danunu? Uh -huh. Don't lie. Don't, Don't lie. lie. No, I'll Say tell you, truth. man. Nyele is a smash hit, really. But what happened was with Nyele, we did the track, but that track, in reality, wasn't meant to be put out. It leaked. You'd, who dropped the, the snippet? The, the, the who dropped the snippet? Someone you dropped the snippet. <laughs> yes. But... No. Musudi Yeah. 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 Is I'm thinking, Wait, uh, we, Dennis, we, we, Dennis, we, 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 I mean, I know it was two people, yeah. it was three because there was someone who was recording. Yes. There were yes. there, there was somebody recording. Homa, move. Eh, you more boy banga. Yeah. But the issue is not good with someone because it's the reaction from the audience. Isn't yes, it? yes. You know, I was yes. shocked. Let me tell you, man. Yes. For me, in reality, when doing the song, how many trucks? Say I'm horny. I'm what I was thinking in English. I think. Yeah. Hey. I'm what so near it for me it was just yeah. a coward. Mango that that I'm horny. Hey, I'm horny. I'm horny. Yeah, 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 I'm horny. It sounds light. So sounds the idea light. was sound heavy. Yeah. The idea mm. was who mm. did you know, the the campaign was meant to be. Mm. There was some a DJ 
only DJs who played at midnight in clubs. In clubs. Uh -huh. Wanted at midnight. Every midnight, you know, is a they play that song. You can go to midnight. Bah! I show it. Yeah. You understand? <laughs> Koma. Hey, I didn't know. The you know, they went to go to work. It's heavy, it's heavy. Ah, it's heavy. Boss. <laughs> so I went to sleep. I don't know. We said it to a couple guys. Ah, what yes. do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Why not? I woke up in the morning, my, my phone's never rang like that. I've done my swa wala, I've done nta we, no se spa na 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 I nearly got ill, man, with that thing. But first, it was the defiance. First, you try to go Just a song. guy, come on. It's it's just a song. How many things are going on on social media? And for sure. Exactly, yeah. But then down at the end. Because from the fans also, it was a debate. And yeah. no, on your side, you some know, were not. Yeah. No, for yeah. me, it was a crazy thing because that um, that song yes. came out the day that we had uh, a conference. Um, Ponera, Kuli, yeah, freedom of expression for creatives and whatnot. Uh, uh, and we're, we're talking, eh? Kuli, Kuli, Abu Nomo, mm, Dijani. Dijani. Nomo Dijani. And that's the day the, that he, the head of censorship board told me exactly that. Yeah, it was we used we were using it now as Mr. a case study. Oma it told, me, a, told me exactly that. You know what Makam Badu is is it a water conference in that the, came ah, that song guy. and uh, I told people like I think it's a campaign, it's a campaign song. Those guys are part of what we're doing. Uh, oh, you you thought yeah, that? I thought that. She was she was also shocked. Danny, I went. I need to know how many who need to. Oh, so first I was I was like ah, you, I went through various emotions, man. You're angry. Yeah, because you're, at the same time, yeah. you as a producer, yeah. I think there's so much heat going to you yes. than that to the guy who you buy. Yeah, yeah, and mm. for sure, if I knew the consequences, yeah. ah, for sure I wouldn't have put it out. Yeah, I would have put it out in a certain way because it's a hit record. Yeah, it's a very well produced record. Yeah. But we just had to change a few things to get yeah, it out but there. then it loses the whole feel. The whole essence yeah. Why yeah. It. At the same time, it wasn't done with the intention to offend. Mm. To be a bit naughty, but not to offend. Yes. And when I started realizing some of the texts I was, I was looking at, I went to Indiana, hey, Masibusa, Gundimbira, Musa, Sanandimbira, Pamu. I said, no, 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 no. I just went to zone. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes you have to be a what? Sometimes you have to be a statesman. You yeah. have to be a, say, a let me say, compromise. Yeah. Well, you'll be surprised. Oh, my, 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 my. Because that's a fact of life. People know this is the be, truth. You'll be, but they want to you'll be hide surprised, boss. <laughs> Big people. You, you'll be surprised, boss. Big uh, people, boss. Yeah. I say, ah, you is that to me is that to me? You see, that to me. That to me. You feel so that to me. No, no, no. What naga saga saga? You remember? If we had an interview after that, we had in BJ and SGZ. Yes. Well, like we, at the best, like you say, we take a very, but okay. To this day, to this day, every weekend I get a call about that song. To this day, so. Um, you know, it's a good song, but it's the, just the wrong context, and you know, it made me understand more. The, 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 yeah, yeah. Menta not the mentality. The, when you say something in Chichewa and you say something in, in, in English, English yeah. the same thing, Doesn't Goma, the same yeah, way. and it wasn't meant to do offense, so that's why I said no. Let me, I, I apologize for two reasons one, it wasn't meant to offend, two, many one in Nila Mugudi. As a producer, the buck stops with you. Yeah. Now I didn't want Dan to face that backlash as well. So, so yeah, you need to like take responsibility. Yeah. Okay. Second question yeah. is, what went wrong to the extent where Jolly Bro dissed him in a song? This me. Bro dissed you in a song? No, I didn't. He, he, he mentioned me. He didn't diss me. Beef ya, Jolly Bro on the. Take really? Ah, in the physics. Physics. Uh, oh. At that time, physics. I was producing his album. So, tell ya, beef ya take green. The jolly bro. 
energy di 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 physics zinaji tega kujani um culture the culture culture crap physics I'm a so I mean we join brave now man we cool come on up intro in fact he finished I think it not Calabas in Ali Jan Jan Ijanka he done a garo coach yeah so the other one he ended with uh you man this young k am jan akuba ka confront si si ne yakosija yakosija ni ne yakosija mwe ni vatu sambavu jb boss machine jb yeah no jb is sharp man jb is sharp man i love jb yeah and the next one yeah what can the industry do to help our music break through to the international market think malawian think malawian be uh be malawian think international it's simple as that it's be malawian I think the soundscape yeah. one of the yeah. solutions yeah it's the same issue on agamba kodi sinagambe ish anyway maloko at least akula kule sinichula maina because i think it's internal when they had a project in mageza of south africa at least we know an aimba zaji zungwe when the other one anaimba rabu ya nchijewa mageza ja they preferred the yeah. rapper want chichewa uch every They're time like, no you have to sound like home yeah because if you do such a zungu it's like no but even if, 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 if you do that if you do that you must do such a zungu so and to arm the good way they want to work malawi yeah for example oh such a zungu so jay-z mm. will talk about his hood his this his that right things that mm. are relevant to him yeah we also if even if you're rapping in english this is a thing for example with tay mm. that we when coming up with this new music mm. so, okay the rap mostly will be english but then the music mm. every it should, it should, be, be, local. Yeah. It should be, local. be local and the subject yeah. matter i talk about mm. it's got to have that connotation that no one else can, can if they want to because people want to find out about other places mm. so that's it so in short form be malawian but think international okay in that in that same line of thinking looking at the music landscape right now if we had to pick five artists that you say okay this embody my philosophy of getting international music out there five who are you picking you're, you're going back into the studio from now for the next 12 months you have got all these deals through pamuzi soundscape and you want to make music with them and take it out there which five are you picking you know it's funny it's funny that you say that so let me come back to go for it because there's a project that we're working on where we're going to use this pamonti soundscape music right mm -hmm. but first we're going to get like all the producers we're going to sit down guys in the malawi what elements are we taking this 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 we're going to take those elements we're going to come up with a sound with the big producers then from that we're going to pick x amount of artists and we're going to put a do an album to uh, to push you know as a malawian thing like a joint thing so that's something that we're working on so to answer your question it's tough bana okay. it's tough bana because let me tell you man this new crop of artists in terms of the way they're doing it ah we've got good artists boss out of your maps man and even he was saying that yo you malawian artists this new this the crop of artists that we have the crop of artists we have guys and all it is is just that's the the, the sound but if you look at artists hey man you see now but yeah. the guys who are doing it man i did not dream on my one i did not um uh zese you know i did not Okay, okay, okay. We've got the kids okay. from the north. Uh, yeah, yeah. The north saying, America, it's everyone's doing it, man. Mm. Okay, but just sound, sound, identifiable sound. Where would you going to know? Yes, such a Malawi is. But I'm a piano. Are you able? Do you think? Do you have the feel of producing my beat? I am a piano. Ashimalawi, I won't be. You can do that. You see, right now, man. It, it, 
to sit down to come up with a sound boss is not a joke yeah because okay what i think is i won't do an amp piano do i'll create something and for sure because the thing with amp piano you still have to maintain the elements that you sell that is that a joy yeah you, you, you can't make it and you have, to take that out it's not uh, it's, it's, i can't yeah. do that yeah. to be honest with you in the, I mean, i'm not condoning anyone who does that but i would rather come up with a sound i'm, I'm experienced enough to sit down and because you still that. see good my guys are they still need to have the digi, 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 no they have to yes you know no they have otherwise, to. Well, for otherwise us, it's yeah. not my piano yeah mm. otherwise for us if we were to uh get that the, that drum has to be yeah. the local drum yeah. Yeah. of which it changes everything yeah. yeah no i agree with that so i would say man i'm very proud of the artists that we have but i would say the producers now um sound wise or production wise from a kutu point of view brilliant trigger beats is a genius brilliant but for me it sounds too much like cut and paste i got that guy who nigeria and where you go and we got too much because I, 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 I feel like my artist and billy they that's my problem. concept from nyumba zagun that's the they're like okay they listen to a song they're like okay i'm gonna make a song about this from this song so they send a producer i'll say can you sample this beat i have an idea so that's I, true you know most of them they just want to start from scratch yeah that's you know? a, that's that's mm -hmm. a problem i tell you where i tell you why as well yeah um this is a very good point in the uk had this that same problem because they would want now something from america guy mm. dr dre and the tabanga and the college and we did that i did that with crossroads my first number one uh, record in the uk yeah. was crossroads mm. where we took it there bone thugs yeah the way twigger but the women are two when number one di di directly so yeah. it's it's um it, it's a problem worldwide it's not just with uh with, with our malawian producers mm. but we have the skill set let's come up with the sound, our sound. sound yes eh? yes and that's why we're working hard though on that on my side yeah. Atama Fuso quick fast too. No, here's the <laughs> thing. Uh, <coughs> what Sorry. we have to reinvent the wheel when you already know what the Afro beats is selling. And Vienna is selling. We want to sell. Yes. No, but it's selling because it made itself sell. But now they're looking at it. So maybe take an element, hmm. an element of it. But you have to have the, an originality that is far enough where you can hear it. Hmm. <laughs> and believe me man our sound is heavy i can play you a couple things or i will it's, mm. but you'll see in the next few weeks you know because that's something that i'm physically pursuing that sound and it's sounding great man when people from kunja hear it they're like whoa man so yeah okay yeah. do malawian awards truly benefit musicians in this country if yes how if not should they be discontinued no 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 they benefit musicians definitely man do you know what it does to an ego okay they could be better organized they could be this they could be that but an artist come on man it's an award mm. so credit, credit what, what every, 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 every time i walk into an artist's <laughs> house and i i walk in there and i see <laughs> the show that yeah. I, was, I, yes. I give respect yes, even before no, i no, no, every time i look it's at them yeah, 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 yeah. it's a credibility you can't yeah. say that hey, you see, you see, you see, you see, yeah you display them you actually have like a yeah, yeah, yeah no, beside no, your screen there's a yeah, rag for your yeah, awards exactly and Mm. I don't know where this came from, but every time I walk into a musician's or an artist's uh, mm. house, see those things. Like, have you seen the taste? Know... You've seen the taste. It's a whole wardrobe, man. It's a whole rack. A what? Yes. Hey. Mobile. So those are this, achievements. This, yeah. this. He's the only guy. But why I'm saying taste? Why I'm saying it? It's because. 90 percent of his awards i would say well not 90 60 percent of his awards are international yeah. the channel o jack uk why because they say Joe, this is malawian man it's the sound yeah. that you and believe me the world. i've been there man we went to big brother twice two years in a row where you listen to it and afterwards the big guys there china cabello who 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 uh, oscar as well came that day because you know a few artists who are known from south africa yeah and they were like yo man lance came who was uh who is a nesmus's guy he's a guy also we started at the same time but they were like yo that sound man what is that i'm genuinely intrigued 
You understand what I'm saying? Genuinely intrigued, man. Yo, yo, yo. So we, we can't export snow to the Eskimos, boss. Absolutely. So much. I still have a lot of questions yes. about different projects, yes. specific projects. Yes. We haven't talked about the greatness. Yes. Thing. Let me ask you one thing. Tika Mali's interview, it has been for one hour. We can but do two. We, 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 studio actually, uh, please, we're going to go in the studio, sit in the studio, in the studio, in the studio and have a conversation. Yeah. Especially yeah. Sound yeah. 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 Because there's, there's, there's a lot of yeah. yeah. details that no. people no. want to understand. This I is love about that. scratching the surface. It really is. Because I'm sure this part one is going to raise some questions. Yes. We're going to have another version, part two of the of this interview thank yeah. you very much because actually i was um I'm, I'm looking at the comments that actually came from the group yeah when we're in here yeah and i'm i'm being asked i think you guys are taking out the best of taps this guy is history thank you i man. hope you can cover all angles but we don't have is the it? time to cover, no, we'll yeah. cover. the history this thank is just like an intro to thank you very taps. much because i think you know yeah. when you yeah. When he was introducing you, I'm like, yeah. damn, this guy is the John Chilean of music. <laughs> no, music. Yeah. Thank you, man. Encyclopedia like, of so, music. Yes. Yes. Thank you, man. You can't be big in yeah. SA with hip hop. Yeah. You're from Get Malawi. Watch, yeah. Chief. You're from Malawi yeah. and they don't do hip hop. Yes. Yeah. We mm -hmm. need to go in Thank depth you. of that. No, there's it's a big story, man. There's Thank you. There's a whole you. business side of it. Thank you. But and with the soundscape, we just scratch. We just scratch. The yeah. Yeah. Artists don't and even it, understand it, it, what it, they if need possible, to do now. If possible, on the next one, what I can request from you guys, if possible, where we do it like this, and we even have a, a screen there, yeah. where I can get some of my, these partners I'm talking about, to come join on there, on, to join on, online. No, that is even very possible. possible. If you can do that. Leon is very, our tech guy. He's going to be able to what I'm saying. Because I want, I want a guy like Christian Titusfield. I want a guy like a guy like Muhammad, my partner. A guy like, you know, yeah. Shamiso. All these guys, you know, maybe they can be joining, coming in, joining, coming yeah. out. Because I want people to understand that for sure the line is open for us to do things internationally. It's and now yeah, on us, so yeah, what on are us. we going to The line get? is open. Yeah. yeah. So, Muntu, Aga, Aga, Ona, what do you find out who controls over 150 radio stations in terms of, you know, his, his connectivity? He's saying, guys, if you t bring us, do you know how much Nigerian stuff we get? How much this we get? Bring us Malawian stuff. Yeah. Yes, it should be modern. It should be vibey. But find it has your to be sound. Malawian. We need to do that or else we're in trouble. Taps. Thank you, guys. I will let you go. Thank because you, Because I know you have got business yes. hey, stuff going on. Thank you so <laughs> but much. But you took your time to I sit appreciate down with you guys. And, and also, I'd like to interview you guys. Yeah, we're coming over. We're doing coming over for <laughs> the Amaris <laughs> Radio. Honor, so can, Thank okay. you so much. <laughs> we can talk to you up there. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yes. Cheers. Guys, Plus, everybody, we've been, we've the been watching. <laughs> oh, Taps is leaving us. Okay, no, okay. Okay, let's just wind up this. Taps is going to be going up on Murray's. There's a whole award celebration that's going on. And he's producing some of the things the uh, Amaris radio that he has just introduced yeah. will be featured like tonight I said, Jeff, on the same like one. I said, <laughs> like I said, you have no idea how hard it is to grab this guy. Oh, yeah. thank you. To yeah. get him to sit <laughs> here. You, we have been chasing him for a week. Thank you so, so much. I'd like you to have I him here. Wana, thank you so very much. Thank you so much. Please. Thank you.